So in today's video, we're going to be having a look at a fake Scotty Cameron putter we've bought for £35. How much? £35. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm Gary Martin. In today's vlog, I'm going to be playing against James Robinson. We've been testing a full set. We've had a match on his channel. Tell him what happened, guys. Well, tell him. You don't need to tell, tell him. him. Need to watch. Do you want to tell him? No, let's let him let him watch. I think it was a great video to talk about. <laughs> he loves a win, doesn't he? He won. He won. But it it wasn't fair. By why? I'm not going to tell him. It just <laughs> right. wasn't fair. Right. But we played with these irons, which you know you've got to admit they do look quite good. I think to the untrained eye they would easily sneak through. Um, yeah, sneak through a net. But um, I'd like to think a professional either wouldn't. And we asked a question, if we had to gain one of these clubs, the driver, the irons or the putter, which would it be? And we both answered putter. So we're going to test it against a second-hand putter that cost... I'm saying that, it nearly, cost, it nearly cost me the match, but... We're going to test it against... Because there will be people, James, newer golfers, somebody that, you know, is on a real budget, who want to know how good that is, because people, people are buying them. Yeah. They were, these are, they've sold 1,200 of these on um on aliexpress i'll put a link in there so they made some money then yeah they've, they've sold made about, a lot yeah they've sold a lot so people are buying them you've got the real well the, the newer one but yeah, the newer one, yeah but something real that we can test and we're going to play a match where we we put we both putters and we have to use What's the worst one? ball that's a 35 pound one right so that's a second hand putter at 35 pound. and at the end we're going to make a conclusion on which one we'd actually buy yeah because that's an looks old like a, it looks it's like a, a very old putter now. 1979, is that when you were born? <laughs> it's not far off. Not far off, 88. <laughs> but would you buy a second hand putter or right. a fake? Let's do this. So for a bit of fun, we're going to use the fake putter all throughout the video. We're starting off with the G400 driver. You already have breakfast. <laughs> what are we playing for now then? Beer. Beer. It's only half eight in the morning. I'll check it, it's high, it probably had 6,000 spins of red. That's plugged and lost forever, that. And it's fine. There's so much inconsistency with these plugs, isn't there? Yeah. So James has got 990, he's got 140. I think that's probably just going to be a right edge at green. Yeah, there's a slope there. I was hoping it might be kind of coming off the line, but it's not. And again, that comes down to how the club's released. Like, it, I didn't mean to play it that low. It just came out that low. Yeah. After we've walked 40 yards further back, we've found it. Well, it has plugged. Look at that curve we've had to do, guys, on that walk of shame. <laughs> like, Gaz is walking that way. I'm like, Gaz, hang a right, mate. Back towards the tee. You can get a nine iron there, can't you? That one's not too bad. Yeah. I'll show you a picture when you're in a minute. You'll die if you've not watched the game in the video. Uh, it's happened before. I'm already feeling the heat. Oh, that's going left. That's going left. Might be all right, might just be green. See, but you'd never eat seven there, would you? No, I got eight. Yeah, but you like well, because it's short, isn't it? Yeah. You would never hit seven from one fifty. It's just the the heads are just so heavy. It feels like just a weight on piece of like string. Yeah. It's just so hard to play. Well, let them, let's just show them that wedge. It's scary. This causes absolutely so much trouble. Look at that. I'll send you the shot from the first hole. Oh, you've nearly took your head off there. <laughs> that is insane, isn't it? Heavy that, James. Heavy. 
Evan. That's not dead. This needs to be closed for that dump turn. Yep. Going for the kill, he says. I'm going for the kill. I'm having it today. Yeah, you've got 10 feet left, mate. <laughs> I think when I were a newer golfer, you know, when I first got into golf, I'd have fancied a set of pings, even if they weren't real. I don't know why. Yeah, I think this is cool. Dear. I think you're off the way back. You kind of know what you're doing. Yeah. For an oldie, it still feels nice, doesn't it? Yeah. I'll Realistically give you, there, I'll, I'll give you that. All them, well, I've got two fun of them both, haven't I? So. Yeah. Performance-wise, I don't think you're going to see a huge difference. You need to hold both of these to go one up. I'll go. That's one in. It's a shame if the real one let you down. Oh, wow. Bottled it. Level. New flags. Right, so there will be people watching this video because they probably want to see a review on the actual putter. So first things first, you've got a cover. Crap. It's, it, it is crap, it doesn't look very convincing, does it? But Velcro's, It's not even, look. They've not even managed to get all of that on. No, and, and text is not great, is it? Drag, drag you, list. You can tell, you can tell. I'm going to say it's got a good Velcro. Let's, we've got to be positive as well. We can't be so biased. Now, I know what you're going to say. You're going to say that looks absolutely crap. But we, but people... But, but... It's a fake putter. It's not, it doesn't look anything like the real one, does it? No. But I think for £35... It's not. There will be people who prefer the shape, the more rounded. It's more rounded, isn't it? Yeah. The, the, normal, the, the standard Scotty Cameron Newport's more boxy. People might prefer that. I prefer the boxier shape. So I'm, I'm not saying it looks crap because it's fake. I'm saying it looks crap because it looks crap. What annoys me, though, whoever's fitted that shaft has got it in backwards. Yeah, the, I mean, it's not Tiger Woods fitting it, is it? That's it's not. That decal should be at the back. So they absolutely know nothing about golf. No, it's I'm not surprised golf, they've no. even got the grip on the right way. And if, in credit to them, that's lined up very well. Better than what you would have done. I've seen, not Scotty Cameron, but I've seen certain brands line grip ups yeah. much worse than that. It's not obviously a real circle T putter, but in terms of grip, feels all right. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it, James. I think for thirty-five pound, it's good. I, for, I'm for thirty-five pound, it's good. It's nothing like a real putter. It don't perform anything like a real putter. But I think for thirty-five pound, yeah, it's all right. I'd rather have this. And I've said it. I'd rather have that. That performs better. That feels nicer. Yeah. More con better weight. Because the weighting on that is horrendous. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, I've said it. I've done. Let's carry on with this match. Right. right, guys. So there has to be a winner on this hole. If we tie the hole, there will be a forfeit. There'll be something we've got to do to get a winner. It's so hard to control these irons. What are you doing? Nine? No, chippy seven. Oh dear. Oh dear. Right guys, do not buy fake irons. Oh dear. These are horrendous. They are just absolutely a waste of money. I'm going to say it. They look good. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Oh, you've got to all them both. So that is. You're going to give me that anyway, aren't you? Yeah, you got to go again, though. Your worst one could be. All oh, right. Okay. You, you could free put the next one. 
Do you know what? I automatically thought to myself I'd be better with the real one. That's why I just thought, right. But I could do. I could be worse with this. Yeah, well done. <laughs> Meaningless, but well done. So four. It's all down to you. Which one are you going to go in first? I'm going to go. Just give me one. Doesn't matter. That one. Guys, Jade Robertson's back on the channel. He's done me for the first time this year. Put my hands up. Well played. Difficult little sidewinder that as well. It's not. It weren't as short as it actually looked. It's a good six footer. In conclusion, I wouldn't buy this putter either, James. For thirty five pound, I'd be shopping around for a second hand oldie bit goodie. Yeah. I mean that clearly does. We can tell it feels better. Yeah. For some of you that might think that that looks better. You know, there's a case there, and you could argue, yeah, it does. It does look fresh and new. It's also the talking point. Every time you play with someone new, I'm like, mm. I think there'd be a lot of high handicappers, newer golfers that wouldn't know that's fake. Still, we, we worked in industry twenty years. We can tell. Yeah. But twenty years. I think yourself, in conclusion, so. I would always shop for a, a second hand putter. Um, Cheers for breakfast, mate. And, and actually, if you're not sure about fakes and real. Go to golfers for cash because they'll check it out for you. Yeah, they will. Yeah, they'll show you, you some some examples as and well. You're guaranteed not to buy a fake. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in a couple of days' time. Bye.